we take that back. So we have finished our inking. What we are basically gonna do is add on our custom brushes at this point in time. So you just double click this one. Just say brushes. I'm gonna move that over here. Just double click on brushes. Cartoon brushes. Now I do have a video that shows you how to install them and it also shows you how to create your own. So that whole thing is on the channel. So just look for how to how to create, how to install your brushes. That takes about five minutes. Uh, and then in your resources on jasonsecrets.com, uh, you will have the file uh, to bring them over so you can create them. Okay, so here we go. Let's have some fun. Now we haven't done any eyeballs yet. So all we are looking to do right now is I'm on the black arrow, just select it up. Anytime you see a line floating in space, that should be a good signal that you want that end to be tapered. So I want that tapered since that buttons up to another line that's going to be fat on that edge. And then we all we have to do is just kind of keep clicking through until we find the one we want. That's going to be fat on both ends. And you might be able to see it if I zoom in. Why we want a little bit of an overlap, especially with the fat on both ends, this edge wants it to be a little bit overlapped because it wants to, that's one of the corners that usually wants to pop out on you. All right, black arrow. I want that to be fat here, tape it over here. Looks good. Let's go fat on both ends. Now for this one, I'm gonna do scissor, just so you can see what I'm looking at. C is the scissor tool. I'm just gonna click that because I want it to be fatter and then just get rid of that overlap. So again, I want those corners to be covered up. This one is gonna be tapered on both sides. We won't do that one quite yet. I do want that one to be tapered. Now for the most part, and we will modify these a bit, Let's go down the, and I am just going to grab each one of them, and I want those to be fat on both ends. Again, fat on both ends. All right, good. Same thing on this one. I'll leave that one a little bit fatter. I might take this one up a little bit. Okay. Let's go fat over here, skinny. Under here, under the chin. Good. I want this one to be tapered over by the shoulder, and I want it to be fat by the lines over here. Good. I think opposite. I want that tapered. Now, right now, I have not really done anything with thicknesses for everything. I want that to be tapered. Right now, what I'm just doing is establishing the brush thick thin. Looks like I missed that guy right here. I want this one to be fat by the knee, tapered up at the top. Oh, I'm going to say fat on both ends. We'll just leave that for, eh, let's bump that up. All right, fat down here, tapered. Just flip them, tapered on both ends. I want it to go fat to skinny. Okay, I think brushes are done. So at this point, brushes are done, and what we are looking to establish is how thick I want everything. And this is gonna be total personal preference. If you guys like fat lines, bump them up. If you wanna do non-existent lines, you'd be able to do that too. So you just basically keep shrinking until you are happy with it. Good. 
0.5 go 2 2 I'm actually going to drop that guy down Okay, let's go tapered on both ends actually. I'm going to take this just so I can see it a little more. Black arrow, let's go to two. I'm going to bump that up maybe to 2. Let's go 1.5. Okay, let's just zoom in down here so you see what I'm doing. Don't worry about all this stuff. Basically, what I'm looking for is tapered. Now, as long as those bottoms are overlapped by that foot, I think I'm okay with it. Okay. All right. Here we go. File safe. Let's hide our brushes. We are done with that. Next up already. So this is the brushes. I will still save those. I'm going to duplicate those out, lock them out, hide them. And now this is basically where, before you do anything, this is where we want to say, hey, is there anything else I want to double check, triple check? And then we're basically going to expand and start the erasing process. So just double check everything. What we're looking for is all those little overlaps. Are the lines the thickest you want them? Uh, if you were gonna change colors or anything like that, this would be a good time to do that. And whenever you do colors, just be aware that now you have to be aware of what is in front so that would be a good little step to do uh, if you are changing up the colors all right so i'm going to grab that so we're basically selecting everything let me just expand expand and what i'm looking for is to just double check that everything has been expanded we don't have any more lines anywhere or stroke lines is basically what we're looking for okay so I'm going to basically end it here, but I want you to just see what the next steps are, just so you can kind of, s it's just not good TV, it's really what the, <laughs> what the moral of the story is. So if I select the line, what I'm looking for is any of these overlaps, and I just come in with my eraser tool, and I just delete them. So I select the line I want, shift E, and I just come in and delete any of the overlapping. So if I want to zoom in, shift E. If I was going to change the size of the eraser tool, brackets are next to your P key. So it'll go OP and then the brackets, and that'll just bring it up and down. Now my recommendation is zoom out enough where you can see what the lines are. And you're basically saying what lines are going in front, which ones are going in, in the back. And any of these little overlap lines, that's basically what you're just coming in, getting rid of. Now, if you can't see any of the edges, then you should be good to go. Shift E. And why we do this is so you don't have to line up all of the edges perfectly. And it is a very, very easy process. Good, good, good. Now, I want that one to drop behind. So notice that little edge. So, oops, we, didn't, we missed it. I can just tuck that back. All right, good. So this is going to go in front. Shift E. Get rid of that. Grab this. Shift E. And I'm looking for that clean edge. Now for the scales here, basically, we'll just do that so you guys aren't going to yell at me. Uh, you can grab a bunch of them. If you wanted to expand them you, or, and unite them, you'd be more than welcome to do that at this point. And all we're looking to do is just take off that bottom edge and find the line that we drew. 
Now that should be thick enough. Shifty. Should be fat enough where we can just kind of zip through the bottom here. So if this line is all bumpy, no biggie. Okay, so I'm gonna basically go all the way through. I will basically come back before the end of this video and just kind of point out all of the areas that should be in front just so we can double check and then we'll move on to our color. All right, so we are basically all done. Legs are in the front, belly's in behind. And then on the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right into live paint packet. We will start filling in any of our little gaps. We're gonna do all of our black first. And then we are basically gonna bring over all of our alligator palette so we can basically color them with highlights and then we'll start to add on all of our patterns. So we are done with the inking. Good job. And then now we'll go right onto the, uh, the color demo. So I will see you guys on the alligator color demonstration.